Minister in the office of the Prime Minister Stuart Young is repeating his cabinet colleagues call that government is prepared to do what is required for the Foreign Accounts Tax Compliance Act FATCA legislation to be passed. On Tuesday, Minister of Planning and Development Camille robinson Regis assured that the legislation would be brought back to Parliament after debate on the 2016-2017 budget. And Minister Young is calling on citizens to hold parliamentarians accountable, especially the opposition. Go and speak to the opposition. You don't barrage them, you don't abuse them, you don't bully them, but have a conversation with them. And I was very, very disappointed in how that message was received. The pressure was put on the government, even though I had said, go and speak to the opposition because you need their support. He says the opposition is also against the legislation for the Revenue Authority, and he wants to know why. The immediate cry from the leader of the opposition is, we will not support the Revenue Authority. I have stood in Parliament and have talked about bringing the Revenue Authority. The opposition is adamant they're not going to support a Revenue Authority. And this is the point I'd like to make. Why would you not support a revenue authority? Why would somebody stand in the way of the revenue authority? Do you have something to hide? MPs and those in public office must explain their wealth, and Minister Young says government is trying to fix that through legislation. But as a government minister, I can tell you, your take home is 40 something thousand dollars a month. But if you see persons in government living in multi-multi-million dollar mansions, having property here, property there, everywhere, and they never had any successful private life. Anybody in public life who's living that type of lifestyle, I want you to explain your wealth. He says stakeholders in the financial sector have been lobbying for the Revenue Authority for quite some time. Mahalia Joseph, C News.